Hi, I'm Latifa, and if you want to see how I got this look using a whole heap of brand new goodies from this box, then stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lewis said earlier. So today I wanted to do a kind of chit chatty, get ready with me using mostly brand new products and also with a kind of a Valentine's theme. So kind of pinky kind of goodness, the kind of thing you could wear on a date essentially. So today I have this massive box of goodies and inside we have the new Beauty Bay New Romantic Palette. We have the new Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. We have the new Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. We have the new Ordinary Concealer, actually. Uh, yep, so I've got three shades of that. We also have the new Pat McGrath Liquid Lust Matte Lipsticks. We also have the new Pat McGrath Ultra Glow Highlighter. I have the Danessa Myricks Setting Powder. And finally, I have all three of the new P. Louise mini love tapes. So let's get started. So we're gonna go in first with the new Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation from Shiseido. Now I do have the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. So that's their, one of their previous ones. I do have both foundations in the same color. So that's what the previous one looks like. That's what the previous one looks like. So this one, um, this one's fine, I like it. I mean, I've got absolutely no complaints about it, to be honest with you. Now, the new one says it has, oh, where's it gone? It says it uh, will lift your skin with light adjusting radiance. Shishado light adjusting technology instantly adapts and responds to every light source to smooth and diffuse fine lines and create a luminous lifted effect on the skin. All day wear, weightless comfort, radiant finish, medium to full, buildable coverage. So let's pop that open. So, okay, so there are differences. So first things first, this is in a glass jar, whereas this one is frosted, so that's the first thing. I'm guessing it opens the same way. So with the old one, all you have to do was, yeah, twist it, okay, it's interesting. Yeah, so far so good, I like it. Thing is, you, I always feel like with Shiseido, they know what they're doing. Yes, in the past, they've not really been exclusive in terms of shade range, but actually of late, they know what they're doing. This is quite luxe, this feels good. Uh, I bought this for 43 pounds in the UK. I'm just gonna pump out a little bit on my wrist and see if the colors are any different. Uh, so that's what one tiny pump looks like. I'm just gonna turn it on. Okay. It, uh, it's quite thin, not runny thin though, but it is quite thin. I'm just going to put the self refreshing one right beside it and I just want to see if there's any. Oh, please, that too much. I just want to see if there's any colour difference there. So I'm going to take a different finger. Um, now remember, this is the same shade. I'll give it a second because this one seems to have disappeared into my, to my skin. I can still slightly see the other one, but I did pump out more, so that might be it. Looking in the mirror. I would say there is a slight difference between the two colors, ever so slightly, but they both look like they will work. This one just feels like it's disappearing. But yeah, to be fair, the colors actually look fine. Now, I really liked the original version. Um, so if this is any kind of improvement or just something, if it's just as good, but with a kind of more of a luminosity and radiance, then I'm all for it. So I've already prepped my skin, I used the Too Faced RX Hangover Primer. I've prepped my lids, I've prepped my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go in with one pump of this. There we go, that's one pump. I'm gonna do what I always do, I'm gonna grab a brush. Hit the end, I'm gonna pop it all over my skin. And I'm gonna blend that in. So this is the foundation all over my face. It's a really nice finish. It's very easy to kind of push into the skin. That is very easy to do. The color match is fantastic. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It's not giving me any kind of, it's, it's the right undertone. It's absolutely perfect. It's really nice. And I'm getting luminosity. For sure, for sure. Yeah, very happy with that. It's a really nice um, foundation. So, so far so good. I like how easily it blended out and I like the luminosity of it. 
yeah it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so next so next we have the ordinary concealer i got it in 3.1 wide which is yellow i got it in 3.2 neutral which is one i'm trying to get for my skin tone color and i also got it in three um, yellow as well so that's possibly like a highlighter shade so i'm going to start with the 3.2 neutral now the reason i went for neutral with this particular shade is because i like to have a shade that matches my skin tone first to go underneath my eyes so what i'm going to do with her i'm going to pop a little bit here oh. right now the box says that it is full coverage yeah it says full coverage so you only need a little I bought these for, I think it was like £4.80 in the UK. So in terms of value, it's not too bad as well. Directions apply to inspections, blemishes, or the under eye blend with the fingertips or a brush. So we're gonna use a brush. So the first thing I want to do, now I'm gonna do what I always do. The first thing I always do is I put concealer on, I let it sit, then I kind of blend it out because I want to get full coverage and I don't want it to crease. So I'm gonna do the same thing I normally do. So I'm gonna go under my eye like this. Okay, so it is quite thick. I don't think I need much more than that. Yeah, it's quite thick. I don't want to put more, but I do think I'm going to go for that. So. I know I shouldn't. No, you just know you shouldn't be doing it anyway. Whatever. Okay, so I've got two other shades. I've put the skin tone shade underneath my eyes. And the reason I say skin tone, because this isn't going to lift my eye in any way, shape, or form. Then I'm going to go in with shade. Actually, I want to compare them. I want to see what shade 3 and shade 3.1 Y look like next to each other. So I'm just going to pop this open. Okay, so these are the two colours. This here is 3 Y and this one here is 3.1 Y. I'm actually going to go in with I think that one. For sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them. Okay, so I've mixed the two and I've put that directly under here because this is the area I want highlighted. And then obviously I've done my top lip, my nose, and my forehead and my chin. So um it's pretty thick. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's very thick. It reminds me of the Danessa Myrex Vision Cream cover, it's very thick. Um also coming off quite luminous as well so it'll be interesting to see if it stays like that or if it i mean i i'm i would love it if it's quite luminous rather than dry so works for me yeah, so far so good so next i have the new beauty bay new romantics palette i also have the uh, natasha denona mini love palette as well and as i said i've got the three palettes by p louise the love tapes palettes that just come out um I think I'm going to leave the love tapes for now because what I really want to try is either the Natasha Denona or the Beauty Bay. And I think there's enough reviews on Natasha Denona. I think I'm going to go with the Beauty Bay New Romantic. So here's what the outside looks like. And if I pop her open, here's what the inside looks like. So it's quite a beautiful palette. Very much looking forward to trying her out. Yeah. And while my concealer is drying, we're going to make a start on the eye look. And I think I want to do something, as like I said before, quite of the season. So probably quite pink. So let's get started. Let's get another look closer. So here's the eye look I came up with and I'm going to replicate it on this side. Now to start with, I went in with the shade Milkshake, which is this shade right here. So I'm going to just put that all over my face. Now, Beauty Bay's formula, I fell in love with it when I got the Book of Shadows palette or like Halloween last year, I absolutely fell in love. And since then, I've been desperately trying to get my hands on as many palettes as possible without replicating too much within palettes I already own. So yeah, yeah, but they, I love this formula. I think it's fantastic. It's just so easy to work with and it's very pigmented. I mean, look at that gorgeous
Okay, now I'm happy with that shade. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Claret or Claret, which is this reddish shade here. So my thoughts on Valentine's this year. I'm just gonna put her on first, like this. So I'm just gonna look in the mirror and even find this. I'm just gonna put her on like this. Get my pigment nail down. And then I'm gonna start on the edges, get it splayed out. Yeah, so my thoughts on Valentine's. Generally, not a big Valentine's kind of girl. I like it for everybody else. I like to watch what everyone else is doing. But for myself, it's not that big a deal. I've been with my husband for, this is our 15th year together. Um, and this is our fourth year in marriage. We'll be four years in April. Just not a big fan of Valentine's. I like spending time. I think that's nice. I like make dinner together, spend time. But I don't get a bit embarrassed when you've got to be like in a restaurant or something I find that a bit embarrassing things to do but obviously we're home now so works in my favour you know just buy some nice steaks cook that I even enjoy spending um Valentine's with the kids like we went to um a restaurant one year and um we had the kids with us this is when we only had two and we had the kids with us and that's absolutely fine with me Okay, I'm just going to go back with the original brush and blend these two together. So I'm going to blend it along the line. Actually, no, I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to blend it. Okay, I'm happy with that look, what, how that looks. So I'm not going to go in now because I want to deep in my crease. I'm going to go in now with ink, which is a really nice black colour. I'm going to put a little bit down in the corner there. And then take it up. And because I'm going to cut the crease, I'm going to bring it all the way along. That way when the crease is cut, we've got a little bit more extra depth. So yeah, I am kind of all out. And I'm just gonna go back with the original brush and kind of blend them all together so there's like no line. When I'm happy with that, I'm gonna cut the crease. So I've cut my crease using the P. Louise Crisp Finish uh, Extra Spicy Paint. I like this one because it dries down matte, so I don't have to worry about blinking and transferring and etc. etc. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go in with our lid shade, and I'm thinking, well, I know. First, we're gonna go in with Royal, which is this shade here. So we're gonna pop that on the outer. Part of my eye and kind of meld those two shades together all the way up to the middle. Don't worry, we'll tidy all of this up later as well. I just want to lay this down for now. And you kind of want to go on the lid. In between the cut crease and the actual colour in the mid. And when I'm happy with that, I tend to just take my finger with a little bit on and I kind of blend the two so there's no sharp line. And we tidy it all up towards the end of the image. So that's the outer colour there. And then for the inner colour, we're going to go in with this cut, uh, colour called Chintz, which is this shade right here. We're going to start just here. Take it all the way up to the line and back again. I'm just going to pack that on. 
So I love the metallics inside the beauty bay. I just love them, they're just so easy. They're just so easy. Look at that. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, again, I like to go in my fingers. Now what I'll do is I'll just blend the edges with my fingers. Likewise with that lighter shade, take a little bit there and I'll just blend the edges again. So the line doesn't look too stark. And then just to finish up, I'm going to take the outer colour again. I'm not going to put any more, I'm not going to put any more um, pigment. I'm just going to kind of blend them all together. Yeah, I'll do that. So that's the finished look. Okay, so we finished with the eyes. There was a little bit of fallout, um, so I would suggest using this palette before. If you're going to do dark, if you're going to go dark, I would suggest using this before you uh, do your base. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend out my concealer. And actually, that's blending out very easily considering my eyes took me about 15 minutes. So that's actually blending out quite well considering it's been sat on my face for so long. So that's really good. It blends very easily. It's working really well. It's quite thick, so it's quite full coverage, but it's working really well over even that dark shade. So I'm, as I'm dragging it up, normally you get, you, sometimes you get transparency with concealers, but with this particular one, it's covering it up quite well. So I can play around with sharpening this line very easily, which is quite nice. Now, if we come to the front, and get a bit closer. I'm just going to bend out the lighter colour that we put right under the eye. Yeah. That's lovely. It's actually pretty flawless. Mm. That looks really good. Really good. Quite happy with that. It's not sitting in any lines. It's. It seems... And it, I mean, it could also be because I let it sit, but it seems... It doesn't feel like it's going to increase. Normally you can, you can tell when something's going to increase, but it doesn't feel like it's going to increase. Okay, really impressed with that. I'm going to blend out the rest of my face. I'm going to contour because there's no new products there. And then when it comes to setting, I will be back with the new Danessa Myricks powder. I say new, it's not new, it's new to me. So I've blended everything out. I've contoured and we are ready for the next step. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Danessa Myricks powder. She looks like this on the outside. That's what she looks like on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to pat a little bit under my eye like I would ooh, normally do. It's got a nice well. As I said before, whenever I set my under eye, I like to place it here and then go up and then go into the actual under eye area so that I don't end up like Le Sahara Desert. It's quite powdery, as you can see. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's uh, smoke. It looks like smoke, but it's dust coming off. It's quite powdery. But the instant, the instant mattification, instant filter look is fantastic. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, so we're set all over. I'm just going to pounce that in so I can still see them. Right, now this product isn't new. I have used it before on camera. I did a review on it. But how I'm going to use it is a little bit new. So this is the new Fenty Soft matte powder foundation in 400 and what i want to do today is use it to set the rest of my face which is not what it's for but i am of the opinion that it will work like it's so good the powder this powder is fantastic but i don't want to just have it as a foundation powder because i probably won't use it for that use because i've got so many fan great foundations that i'm not really into powder foundations so i need to find an alternative use for it because otherwise i won't use it which is a shame because it actually looked lawless so what i'm thinking is to use it as a setting powder for the rest of my face and like i said it's flawless so this is why i'm very much happy it should work it should work and so far it looks like it is i'm just gonna use that to set the perimeter of my face it seems to work really well the only thing is normally when i use a perimeter setting powder 
it's usually just a, uh, darker than my skin. This is exactly, this is my skin tone. So in a way, it's actually better. Yeah, in a way, it's definitely better because you're getting skin tone coverage. So in a way, it's kind of better. Yeah. I'm gonna keep practicing with this because I think I can make this work. So I'm gonna keep trying with this. But happy with that so far. Now to finish my eye look, I do need to do my under eye. So I'm gonna go back in with the claret color, which is this kind of ready tone. So I'm gonna go back in with that. I'm gonna pat that on my under eye. Pat, pat, pat. And I always pat first because by this point my makeup's normally done and I don't want it down my cheek because red is a very difficult color to get rid of once it's there. Same with kind of blues and blacks and things like that. They're quite difficult to get rid of once they end up on your foundation. And I'm not the kind of person that can um, lay a powder down. My skin just ends up like a, the Sahara Desert, so. I'm just gonna pat that down on both sides. So I'd love to know if you guys are bothering with uh, Valentine's this year. It's a weird one. I kinda don't want to do anything, but I still want my husband to suggest that we have like a nice romantic dinner at home. I still want him to suggest something, even though I'm not really interested in it myself. Okay, once I've got that where I want it, I'm gonna pat it. I'm not gonna try and um, blend it just yet. When I've got it where I want it, I'm gonna go in with the lighter pink shade called Milkshake, so this milkshake shade. And I'm gonna put her just beneath it, so just there. Now there's method to my madness. The reason I do this is to soften the edge, but to make sure that the color, the original color is visible, but to soften the edge. Same thing on the other side, so I'm going to pat it there. Very pink. <laughs> it looks cool. It's Valentine's, we can, get, we can get away with it. And then for this outer edge, which is starting to look a bit wild, what we're going to do is we're going to take the black colour and we're going to pat that just there. But that's the only place we're putting it. Don't worry, all of this is going to get blended out. We're just putting it there because I don't want it further down. I don't want it under my eye, but I don't mind it there. And you notice I always burn my brush because I don't want the excess on my face. <laughs> so you've also done the same thing on that side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush that I use to blend out my crease shade and I'm going to just take that underneath my eye and do that. And it's kind of going to bring everything together. Same thing on this side. Start with the front, don't start with the back, otherwise, you're going to end up being in the black to the front. And then kind of go outside to soften it. And then you have like a nice smudged pink. Wow. Now, next, I'm going to go in with my um, highlighter, which is the new Pat McGrath Ultra Glow Highlighter. She looks like this. Now, it, the packaging itself looks like this. And that's what she looks like. It's beautiful. It's actually quite nice. It's not quite the same as her last highlighter because that had like a, that was like a paperweight. That had a weight to it. It's actually, it's decorative as well. I don't use it as often as I should, but I do love it. Now, here's what she looks like on the inside. There is a mirror. She looks like the inside. And I'm just gonna swatch her. Now I have swatched it before, so I know I've got a rough idea what she's gonna look like. But it's almost like a two-toned pink. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick up the inflect. Oh, look, I think it is a little bit. But it's a pink. I envision this color suiting a multitude of skin tones. So I've not used it before, but I have swatched it. So I'm just gonna put her down here. Let's see what we get. At the moment, under my lights, I'm not picking up the pink. I'm getting mostly the golden fleck. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I feel like it's picking up the golden fleck more than anything, which is fine by me, but yeah, it's not picking up the golden fleck. And actually, now that I'm looking at my hand, 
the gold is the predominant color it is shifting pink but the gold is the predominant color so it could just be that my undertone is what's causing it to shift like that but i like it and it's not giving me i don't think it's giving me texture you guys can disagree with me because you can see better i'll on yet see afterwards when i'm editing i don't edit. um but yeah i don't think it's giving me texture it's blending very easily i like it i like it a lot okay so i'm gonna do what i always do i'm gonna take her down my nose so i always use one finger to take it down and another one to blend it out i'm using that so i can control the amount of product and then there's another one to kind of blend it out yeah you'll pop a little bit there now i think i'm going to use this as an inner corner highlight as well although i don't really feel like it might not go but we'll see what do you think the edges are really completely different from that, so that doesn't look yeah it's cute or whatever yeah, it's cute. Okay. Happy with that. So I'm going to finish my face up and then we will be back for the lipsticks. But so far, I'm happy with this look. It's coming from Gaba. Cool. Okay, so we're back. I've gone a little bit OT2 lashes, but honey, it's Valentine's. Why the heck not? So I finished up my face. I've gone a little bit bat wings on my lashes, but you know what? It's a loud eyeshadow look, so we need, you know, loud lashes. I quite like it for the look. Okay, so next we have to do our lips. And for that, I have two of Pat McGrath's Liquid Lust, yeah, Liquid Lust lipsticks. The first one is called Divine Rose. And she looks like this. Look at that. Mm, yes. Now, I have some of the old Liquid Lusts. And it's an upgrade from the packaging. Like I said, this is the old one. It literally just had a sticker. This one is like, is this printed on? It's just, it's an upgrade from what was there before, for sure. I'm going to just pop you out the other one because the other one is called Divine Nude. So we're going to pop that on. Okay, cool. So that's Divine Nude. And that is Divine Rose. I'm going to swatch them both in the back of my hand. Um, so the first is Divine Nude. And she looks like that. And the second is Divine Rose. And she looks like that. Both gorgeous colours. I think I'm going to go for Divine Nude because I want more of a neutral lip. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just line my lips with the MAC Chestnut. So that's first. Okay, my lips are lined. And we're going to go in with Divine Nude say lines I'll cover them but here we go yeah quite nice it's very nice I'm gonna put a little bit more on <laughs> I said a little bit <laughs> Mmm, that's gorgeous. A bit more. Now, I love the Liquilus formula. It's a matte and it's a non transferring matte, which I love about it, but it's not uncomfortable. So, I will often use the original formula because I've got like loads of backups of them. I bought them when they were like, they went down to like six pounds on the PMG website and it was like that for months. So I just get on buying more and more and more. But yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm not even gonna put a gloss over that. Here I am. So this is the final look. I'm feeling it. It's nice, it's nice, it's cute. It came together really nice. I mean, I'm wearing all of this to sit in my house and that's okay. I look cute or whatever. Yeah, I really enjoy playing with the makeup today. Okay, so let's recap some things. First things first. So far, this foundation is flawless. This is gonna go into regular, regular rotation with this. This is beautiful. This reminds me of another foundation, like just the, the glow. Now I've put a lot of powder on today because you know, we were going above and beyond. And it's still 
I feel like you can still see the glow from within or the, you can still see the luminosity in the foundation. It's fantastic, I love it and it's flawless. I mean, I mean, I mean, flawless, I love it. It does remind me a little bit of the Estee Lauder Hydra Futurist foundation and that reminds me of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. So this is giving me vibes of both of those foundations. Now the thing is with this is, this is, I think it was £43. Shade and Illuminate is £112, um, but I love that foundation all day long. Um, this is Factor 30. The Hydra Futurist by Estee Lauder is about the same price, so that's about £43. And that one I love as well and that's another 30 factor 30 I think or yeah factor 30 yeah it is and shade and illuminate is factor 50 now if you didn't want to spend the money on shade and illuminate potentially you could spend it on this because I know shade and illuminate is like 150 dollars which is expensive I mean I don't mind I'm at an age where I don't mind putting things on my face that I know are going to do wonders for me but yeah I am loving this this is fantastic like this is this is giving me new favourites. This is... Hmm, I'm talking a big game on this one. Okay, then the next thing we tried today were the concealers by The Ordinary. I love them. And the main reason I love them... I'm going to zip this down, sorry. And the main reason I love them is because they're thick. It is full coverage. It gives me... It gives me Pat McGrath and then e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer vibes for four pounds but at the same time it's, it actually feels thicker than both i mean time will tell whether or not it creases on me but i don't think it will as i was blending it out it just didn't think feel like it would but so far so good i love this and i like the fact that it's not drying it was i had it sitting on my face for at least 15 minutes while i did my eye look so I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And I think you can get 10% off of, I mean, who wants them? I mean, it's 40p, but come on, four quid. What's eight milliliters? Not bad. Yes, yeah, so not bad at all. Uh, the next thing we tried today was the Danessa Myrex. I'm trying to figure out where I put it. But that powder is flawless. The only thing is you can't use too much of it because I find it dusts up absolutely everywhere. But other than that, look at my face. Look at my face. Like my face came out stunning today even if i do say so myself it came out fantastic the fenty powder i'm still testing that as a um, all over face powder but so far so good and the, i think this in conjunction with the synchro skin i think this is why we look like this now this is why we look like this because this is flawless even on its own let alone to set your face so yeah very happy with that i'm going to keep testing this out as a setting powder and we'll see where we go likewise the final thing that we tested today well no the two final things were the pat mcgrath so it was the highlighter which i'm going to come in closer because i feel like it's changed on me now when i first put it on it was just giving me pure gold vibes and now i feel like i'm seeing the pink inflex as well as the gold Either way, I like it. And the reason I like it is because it's not giving me any texture. In fairness, I don't have texture on my face, but there are there are other highlighters, even though I don't have texture, that create texture on my face, which I always find completely baffling. But yeah, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's nice. It's subtle. It's buildable. It doesn't immediately come on your face and it's bam. It's, it's buildable, which I absolutely love. And the thing about me is I tend to go quite ham because when I use a finishing powder, it dulls it. But yeah, I am really happy with that. Even down my nose, I'm very happy. I mean, my, down my nose is shining and that light's not helping. But yeah, I really like that. And to be honest with you, I always knew that I was gonna like the Liquid Lust Gloss. I just knew I was gonna like that. I like the formula from the previous one. So I knew I was gonna like that. So yeah, fantastic. And I've forgotten the major key to this look. The eyeshadow. So that is the Beauty Bay eyeshadow of my outfit this is you like the pink up i don't think people looks nice right look at this comfy comfy the stylish stylish i don't want to get makeup on it there we go. Mm -hmm. so yeah the eyeshadow now listen this is 15 pounds 15 pounds you can't go wrong i mean the quality is second to none you cannot go wrong with this this is beautiful and they last on the lid i mean i know it's gonna last even when i was putting it on i was packing it on i knew it was gonna last i want to show you this shade on my finger so if you look i'm pressing it down and it's soft it's left an indentation 
and I think most of them are like this there's something in this formula that it, it's soft but it's beautiful look at those two colors look at them they're gorgeous absolutely stunning if I've just put them in the back of my hand look and those are the ones that are on my lid beautiful palette I'm gonna enjoy using this not just for Valentine's but I like the tones I love pinks and purples and mauves anyway so this is right up my street this is a bit of me so yeah I'm gonna enjoy playing a bit more with this and doing more looks I'm not the kind of person that normally would go out with you know an eye bold as this but for Valentine's Day slay I'm not mad at it at all it's lovely so if you enjoyed my video please like please subscribe please share if you care and I will see you in the very next video Thank you.